today essentially is just to let, give you an idea of what is going on in this space. This space has tremendous potential, and I think that we need to focus a little bit more on giving our youth practical skills that they can use to get jobs for themselves. We need to focus on self-start jobs, because it's almost impossible for us at this point in time to get formal jobs in, in, the, in the formal space that we all do for jobs. We need to ensure that our youth can create jobs for themselves, and government needs to start looking at ways of investing in this space. So without further ado, I'm going to allow the panelists to talk so that we can have an interactive session. You can ask questions, and they can take us through all the different segments of the creative, creative sector that is represented here today. So again, to my left is Mrs. Diola Sego. Ms. Tony Abraham. Driver. Helen Paul. Mr. Kelly Ogbeni. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave the floor so that we can get them talking about what we need to happen in this space. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We will give them just a minute to speak to us about what they do and then the questions will avoid it. Um, but let me just say that in the house this evening, Prince General Joseph Oluyemi Bajowa, Jagumono of Ikali and is in our midst. You're welcome. Felicia Yoshoyewu, MFR, Chairman, Prestige Insurance Broker Limited. You are very welcome, sir. We will be doing four introductions, but let me say that in the house this evening, Senator Hulewe is also in the house with us. Good evening, sir. For any movie, Tony Abraham's tears will feel it. She can cry for Nigeria. Thank you 
Christ, you want to affect God. <laughs> Permit me to say, man, and I made a mistake, I, well, I did there's something I should add, because that actually gets to me when you see women in some positions. Mrs. Adejoke Atefulere was actually the former deputy governor in Lagos State. sometimes last year when um, a particular name came into the PG board and then um, she was to be given a doctor of philosophy and then someone asked where is this person's second name and they said well bring out a file she actually has just her name and a surname no second name of course by the time they brought out the file and they called the name we all agreed and so to come to this podium Ladies and gentlemen and students, Helen Paul. This afternoon is not for him, but I should greet him the way we should greet a proper Yoruba chief. And so, yes, we were doing that, but we were greeting him the way we were greeting Yoruba chief. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the last but not the least, to come to the podium is Alex Johnny Eko. Yes, you know. Please give me luck finally. Yes, you know. <laughs> greatest apocalypse. Great. Greatest apocalypse. Great. Greatest Baba. Baba. Greatest Bobo. Bobo. Greatest Baba. Baba. Why? No, you can never remove my glasses. I stand on all existing protocols, our senior, senior alumni here. I greet you, Father and Mass. It's an honor to be in your presence. Um, unfortunately, I didn't attend the union night. Yeah, I'm going to take it all. It's very sad. And, um, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Very selfish reason, but here, 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 here it is. So my family has always lived in Lagos, and um, typical Nigerian dad. But I was a strong man, my house was in Sulu, bad guy. I said, when I was writing jam, I said, this man looks like who, when I now write in the lag and then gain admission, when I say, come and be going from the house. <laughs> I'll like, not have time to explore and be a teenager. So I went to study law in the University of Calabar. And I mean, it's a great school and all, but then there's something about Unilag. There's just something, just looking at all the great people that have passed through um, the four walls of this university, I can tell you now that I feel bad that they are telling you now. Oh, but don't worry, don't worry. For my wife and PhD, I'll come back here. Yes. Okay. Do you see what you are missing? Do you see anything like this here? Yes. 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 To be here, where they will be, it is a round of applause for Lady Bolanley or St. Peter. I think it's amazing to the colonial woman this year, you know, she had the highest ceremony out of Nigeria that deserves the round of applause. Who has seen this lady in the future? So that we made over 150 million in the first month. I think that is amazing, and that is the reason why we're here today because he's going to So um, um, that's going to give me a call to come here and be a part of uh, the creative um, panel to share my two cents on the industry and being a part of Hollywood. And the journey I see as, as, um, as a man in the industry, I said I I'll do it. It's such an honor to be standing here right next to Tony Abraham, Brian Moore, Dr. Henry Paul. So you want to be like, hey, you want to be like your big uh, degree or something, you're going back again, yeah? And of course, the legendary uh, family of Google Media wrote to Lamar Cruz like Tinsel as a part of Tinsel many years ago. It's an honor to be here, and every single person here, I can't wait to dive right into it. And um, hope you guys have questions and answers for me. Let me just put a disclaimer right now. Nobody should ask me when I'm getting married. I'm a baby boy for life. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> And I am hoping that the questions are ready. And the questions are going to be creatively crafted. 
so that you can benefit from their answer. Please, let's just utilize this opportunity. Um, before we go on, Mrs. Austin Peters, I'm going to get some change from you. My hard work sold my profession into your business. I mean, when everybody goes to watch you over and over again, you owe me some change. <laughs> Thank you. So please, we will take the first three sets, the first three, to ask the questions and then um, whoever you want to answer your question will definitely answer your questions. But please let's creatively craft our questions so that you go straight to what we want to know about this gathering. I'm not too sure we can get something like this one again. Please let's give him another round of applause. This is the best we can get. And don't forget, it's still the 50th anniversary of the University of Lagos Alumni. It's a week-long activity. And it started since last Friday. We'll end on Saturday. Today is this creative round table. We will soon be shifting to the lecture arm of it. But I can assure you that the next three days is actually action part of the University of Lagos 50th alumni celebration. So who's going to bell the cards? The first question. The first question. Now, before they were shouting, you know, suddenly now they're quiet. The first question. It is not, it is not GST 101 now. <laughs> and it is not CBT. So, the first question. All right, please come. Oh, you want to stay there? Okay, so we'll get you. A lot of those options that Toei is a household name. Yes, um, she's developed this brand single-handedly. And uh, we wonder how she did it. And it's important that you guys listen to what she has done in creating a brand for herself. Because what happens ultimately is a lot of you will leave school and you'll have to find your way through life. And if you're in this space, you'll have to stand out. So my question to Toei is, how has she been able to garner over 3 million followers of social media, or possibly more, maybe 4 million? 4 million followers. I mean, that is phenomenal, phenomenal. So uh, if you could just tell us what it takes to become a brand and to be able to connect with so many Nigerians on a daily basis. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. It's not been easy, but you just have to do what you have to do. Number one, I would say hard work. I know a lot of people, you're expecting me to say prayer. It's fine, I pray, but even the Bible says, walk and pray. You understand? So you have to walk, hard work. I walk a lot. And um, there's something about me, I, I do not let negativity get at me. I'm, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I have a lot of people. You know, that sometimes when they write stuff about you, you know, you people want to read stuff about Tony. Ah, Kino Sofa Tony, Kino Shelepa Tony. Don't mind me, I will mix English and Yoruba. That's just my, that's my style. Do you understand? So, sometimes a lot of you want to hear what they say about me. So, most times, a lot of people want to use that name to train. You understand? And I realized something about us in Nigeria. Positivity does not change. They know I'm coming to New York to deal with to meet with important personalities. They will not carry me to let someone abuse me or my baby. Or my name change me, you know, come be more serious. You understand what I'm talking about? So I do not let negativity get at me. You, you, I do not let the intensity get at me. I just, I'm very focused. And another thing I do is I connect with my fans a lot. I, I want, you know, you see, so a lot of times when things happen to me, I don't put it out there. I'm doing well in my career. I'm doing well physically, financially, spiritually, I'm doing well. But let me say the financial aspect. 
You understand? I'm really doing well financially. But I do not put it out there. The reason why I do not put it out there is because I don't want you people to see that financial asset. I want you to see that hardworking woman. You understand? I don't want you to see the, the, the show of Tony. I want you to see the hardworking Tony. You know, because you know, a lot of people, when I met her, I call her mommy. She's um, Mrs. Bonnelly or something because I call her mommy. You know, there are some people you don't really know them physically, but their names. And they're the ones doing great things. But you know me, we are just there. I'm going to finish in time, you understand what you To God be the glory. So I want you guys to look at me and see that I'm working to me. So like, I've been able to maintain my breath because most times, I try as much as possible. It's not about my colleagues alone. It's not about my colleagues alone or celebrities alone. It's about my fans most times. I respect my fans a lot. I do not joke with them. So even when a lot of people put me on their pages or stuff, you which is me happy birthday, also congratulate me. Most times I try to reply as much as possible. So even when I don't reply one of you, if you want to complain, the other people will say, I will reply to you. Maybe she did not say it. You understand? Then I make sure I do a lot of meet and meet. I do a lot of meet and meet. Then I try to listen. I'm a very good listener. Mama will join all, but I'm a very good listener. I try to listen to people. You understand? You say what? That's what I do for a living, darling. I talk for a living. You understand? So I do meet and meet. I get to meet people. I get to talk to people. You understand? And it's not about, I don't, I don't put my brand on, on the level of, oh, let me just be here. No, I'm that grassroots actress. I want to, I want to, I want to know whatever everybody is going through. I want to be for the masses. I want to be for everybody. You understand? So it's been easy. So most times, and I tell people, another thing I do is, I do not fight on social media. I'd rather keep quiet and just focus on my focus. Yes. <laughs> 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 So, so and, um, I like I tell people, it's not about you being popular or oh, oh, your brand is everywhere, blah blah blah. But if people do not appreciate you, your brand is not is nothing. So I've been able to work on my brand because most times I connect with my fans. I connect with Tony Titans and what? I can only you guys a lot. I listen to them a lot. I get a lot of DMs. Even if I don't listen to everybody, I listen to most of you. So I can say that is my, that's my tool. That's my power. Because I connect with my family. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, for you. So um, some of you who use social media, just for fun, understand that it is a tool for business. So she's marketing herself. When you see her out there, she's doing business. So I suggest that a lot of you start looking at that as a tool for marketing yourself, positively. And hard work is what she mentioned. It's a lot of work to sit on social media and respond to people. It's a business. Now moving to. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, while our uh, panelists take their thank you, we give them a round of applause as well. I think that there was a little bit of time. I think that there was a little bit of time. At the appropriate time, we will recognize. Please, our, our panelists, kindly come on stage once more, just a few minutes, please, for a group photograph, please, with the alumni executives and the management of the University of Lagos, please. Just a minute, please.